got one eighth inch thick 6061 aluminum. Most of this you can find at your local hardware store. I found most of this in my neighbor's trash. So we have four pieces of 15 inch long. We got two pieces 12 inches long and four pieces five inches long of the angle, three quarter inch angle. I've got three pieces of 12 inch long flat bar, some round tubing. I believe the inside diameter of this is about a half inch. Two pieces and these were cut to 12 and a half inches long. And we've got two pieces of quarter 20 threaded rod that I cut to 13.5 inches in length. And then we need eight quarter 20 nuts. I like to use nylon lock nuts on the outsides, hold them in place. We have 14 half inch machine screws and nuts. Of course you'll want to use some Loctite on these machine nuts. These were also repurposed from the grate that I found in the trash. So those aren't the greatest. I probably would have used different hardware. And these are the mounting bolts, quarter 20 by two and a half inch. Some more lock nuts. And of course you'll need some screwdrivers and some wrenches to correspond with your hardware. And this is a piece of about an eighth inch thick wood. It's just a chalkboard whiteboard that I had laying around, so I'll repurpose that. And this is cut to 12 by 15. So the inside dimensions that we wanted to get is 15 by 12 so that it would fit most bike courier food delivery bags. So let's go ahead and get it all assembled. that are holding it to the bike rack so make sure those are good and tight. I may reinforce these nuts with some JB weld or replace it with a permanent thread locker just to keep them nice and strong.
for these holes, I had to sort of line them up. Like that, to make sure that they were in the right position. And then I just drilled straight through. And then for the mounting bolts, I was considering putting them through and then getting some Loctite on there uh, underneath to kind of lock those these bolts in place. I could still do that at another time, but I believe what I'll most likely wind up doing is just from the bottom when I'm all done, the last thing I could do is drill two holes to go through and then you'll just have the bolt head at the top. I don't think that'll be a problem. That's mostly because it could be a little finicky to get the bolts through the rack. Well... yourself a nice tray and then I just already drilled the two holes go right through the rack now to make it into a basket necessary you could also just use another angle there if you don't have any tubing I just thought it might be nice to soften a few of the edges
and really this this rod should be strong enough that you probably don't even need anything other than the rod there. a nice sturdy box or basket so now we have a lot of options so we could either close all these sides in uh, maybe with some more of this or some plywood or I believe what I'm most likely going to do is use some fabric or uh, maybe a mesh if I can find some pretty much whatever I have laying around in my scraps and just leave it as a basket with fabric or mesh or you could fully enclose it with more wood on the sides and even on the top and maybe put um, some type of lid I thought it might be cool just to, to make a, a lid here and a lid here so that you could uh, lock it up and make it a little lock box So the last thing we need to do now is drill these out. 